The Earth has become an abandoned place full of garbage due to humanity's excessive consumption. Wally -E is a small robot that works while listening to music and has the task of compacting trash and cleaning up the area. His only company is a cockroach. As he walks through the streets, we see trash everywhere, and there is a company called BNL that seems to control all the city's commerce. Along the way, Wally -E sees other robots like him that no longer function. He is the only one left on the planet. Further ahead, an advertisement for a special spaceship called the Axiom is shown, with people having fun and relaxing in space while robots take care of the cleaning. Wally's home is a garbage truck where he keeps objects he finds interesting. His collection includes an old movie, and watching it makes him desire to have someone to hold hands with. Later that night, he goes out and looks at the stars, but then an alarm goes off, and he notices a dirt storm approaching. Wally quickly closes the door and transforms into a cube to sleep on his own shelves. The next day, he wakes up to an alarm indicating low power, so he recharges his battery using a solar panel. Then Wally -E accidentally rolls over the cockroach, but shows great concern, only to find out that it's okay. He continues with his usual work, compacting and stacking garbage while also collecting objects he finds interesting. Wally -E comes across a small plant and carefully places it inside his box. Wally -E goes back to his home and notices a red laser dot, which he chases for a long time. The city is being scanned, but Wally doesn't notice a spaceship approaching, nearly landing on top of him. Wally watches to see what's happening, and a beautiful white robot with blue eyes emerges from the spaceship. The robot begins scanning the ground, and the spaceship departs. Wally observes the robot from behind a rock, making a small noise which prompts the robot to shoot at him. Fortunately, the attack only hits the rock. Wally starts following the robot through the city and narrowly avoids being hit again. However, this time he is scanned, and the robot realizes that he is not a threat. He continues following the robot and getting into his usual mishaps, but the robot doesn't pay much attention to his presence. After some time, the robot goes to sleep, and when it wakes up, it sees that Wally -E has made a garbage figurine. The robot doesn't pay much attention to it, leaving Wall E disappointed. The robot continues flying and scanning things until it gets caught by a large magnet, managing to free itself after launching a few attacks. Wall E walks up to the robot and introduces himself, while the robot's name is Eve. A dirt storm approaches, so Wall E takes Eve's hand and leads her to his home. He shows her some of his things, and she interacts with all of them, demonstrating her knowledge and skills. She manages to solve a Rubik's Cube in a matter of seconds. They then watch TV together, with Wall E dancing and singing along like on TV. Eve tries to imitate him and almost causes a mess with the items on the shelves. Wally shows her how to spin while dancing, and in her attempt to replicate it, she accidentally hits and damages him. However, he repairs himself by swapping out a part. Wally looks at Eve as if he's in love and tries to hold her hand, but he is ignored. Later he shows her the plant, and Eve scans it, causing a green light to appear in front of her for the first time. Eve takes the plant and stores it inside herself, then closes up with a bright green light flashing in front of her. Wally takes her to the rooftop, waiting for her to wake up. As time passes, he remains by Eve's side. He even gets electrocuted while trying to wake her up. Later, he walks while dragging Eve and takes her for a ride on the river. Wally carves their names into a heart, portraying them as a loving couple. Eve stays on the rooftop, and Wally watches her with sadness. Even when it comes to his work, he feels disheartened. He looks up and sees a special spaceship, and he runs towards his home, calling for Eve. She is collected to be taken away, and in the rush, Wally -E tells the cockroach to stay. He chases after the spaceship and manages to hold on to the outside, steadfast as it takes off and leaves Earth. In space, he tries to show Eve how beautiful the view is. He quickly recharges his battery using the sun and becomes enchanted by the beauty of space. Then he sees a massive special spaceship, the Axiom Space Station. He enters the station and watches as Eve is taken out of the ship. Some small robots examine Eve and detect 16% of foreign contamination, so they proceed to clean her. When it's Wally's turn to be examined, he is identified with 100% of foreign contamination. The little robot is surprised and tries to clean him but fails. Wally intentionally dirties the floor, leaving the little robot very irritated. Another robot appears and scans Eve, resulting in a green light, and she is taken away. Wall E follows her, leaving a trail of dirt behind. The little robot seems angry but still goes after Wally, -E, cleaning up the trail. Then the first real person appears in the movie, a man sitting in a floating chair having a video call with his friend, who is right next to him. Next we see a room full of overweight people, all floating and making video calls. Advertisements showing food are everywhere, urging people to eat. A man tries to give Wally -E his empty cup but falls off his chair. He can't get up because he is too obese. 
so Wally helps him back into his chair. Wally sees Eve being transported and follows her. People are mindlessly watching the screens in front of them, resembling zombies. Wally interacts with a woman and touches her chair, causing the screen to disappear, and the woman realizes she just woke up from a dream. He manages to catch up with Eve and accompanies her to a room. After taking the elevator, Eve is scanned by a robot named Otto, who then wakes up the sleeping captain. A screen shows the previous captains who gradually became overweight with each generation. The captain checks the computer and makes some announcements to everyone on board the Axiom. It is revealed that it has been 700 years of cruising, even though it was originally intended to last only five years. Otto informs the captain that Probe 1 has returned with a positive result, something that had never happened before. A screen shows the BNL president stating that Eve has returned with a plant, and it is time to return to Earth. The expectation is that Earth has been restored to a sustainable living state. The captain is instructed to follow the manual and place the plant in the holographic detector. Eve spots Wally and gets startled, then tells him to hide. When a robot tries to take the plant from Eve, it can't find it. The captain dismisses it as a false alarm and orders Eve to be taken for repairs. Wally sees the captain and shakes his hand. Upon seeing the dirt, the captain tells him to be cleaned. The two are taken together, and the captain becomes curious about the substance left by Wally, which is known as Earth. He gathers more information about planet Earth. Eve and Wally are placed with the malfunctioning robots in the repair room. While Eve is being cleaned, Wally mistakenly believes that she is being destroyed and rushes to save her. However, he grabs her arm and accidentally fires in the opposite direction, hitting a device that shuts down the repair robots. As a result, all the other robots are set free, and they carry Wally through the ship as if he were a hero. They are stopped by other robots, and Eve is photographed just as she regains her arm. People are informed that there are dangerous invading robots. Eve takes Wally and they escape the area. Later, she tries to put him in an escape pod back to Earth, but he refuses to go. They hide, and a small robot puts the plant inside the pod. Once he leaves, Wally enters the pod and is launched into space. Eve chases after him as he presses various buttons in an attempt to prevent the pod from self-destructing. However, he fails to stop the explosion, and Eve is saddened. Suddenly, Wally appears safe and sound with the help of a fire extinguisher. They reunite, and Wally shows her the plant, prompting Eve to store it inside herself again. They embrace and share a sort of robot kiss, leaving Wally ecstatic. The captain asks everything about Earth and becomes fascinated with what is possible there. Meanwhile, Eve goes to deliver the plant and appears in the captain's room, handing the plant to him. The captain connects a TV to Eve and sees that Earth is still filled with garbage, not resembling the images he had seen. He recognizes a song playing on the TV and moves his foot as if dancing. A leaf from the plant falls, but the captain knows what needs to be done. Eve looks at what Wally did for her while she was offline and mimics holding her own hands like him. Wally runs off and follows Eve through the garbage chute. The captain waters the plant and says they must return to Earth, but Otto argues that they cannot go back and tries to take the plant. He shows the captain a video of the president stating that Operation Cleanup was a failure. Therefore, they must remain in space, and Otto will take control of everything. The captain realizes that the message is nearly 700 years old and insists that things have changed, arguing with Otto about returning to Earth. Another robot appears and takes the plant from the captain. Eve receives the order to retrieve the plant, but the robot throws it into the trash chute, and it ends up hitting Wally on the head. Otto attempts to retrieve the plant, but Wally refuses, causing him to get shocked and fall into the garbage chute. Then Eve is deactivated and thrown into the chute as well, while the captain gets trapped in the room. Eve and Wally are compacted together with the trash and are about to be launched into space. Eve manages to free herself and reaches Wally. The cleaning robot appears and prevents the doors from closing, saving Eve and Wally. Wally's motherboard is damaged, so Eve searches the garbage for a new one. The cleaning robot finishes cleaning Wally, and the two introduce themselves. However, Eve returns without a functioning motherboard. Wall E hands her the plant, but she throws it away and extends her hand towards him. However, he doesn't pay much attention and retrieves the plant again to show that they have to go to Earth. Eve understands the message and flies off with everyone. Later, she stops a security robot from harming another robot and flies around the ship, causing several robots to follow her. Otto notices what is happening and sends more robots. The captain tells Eve and Wally to take the plant to the pool deck. Eve and the others encounter the security robots, and a fight ensues. The captain pulls off a trick by pretending to have the plant and manages to deceive Otto, leading to a fight between them. After the battle, Eve and Wall E reach the area where all the people are gathered. Wall E accidentally drops the plant, and Otto tries to make the holographic detector disappear, but Wall E tries to stop him. 
Eve becomes busy trying to retrieve the plant and helping the people, while Wally nearly gets crushed. The captain struggles to move but eventually manages to deactivate Otto and takes control of the ship. Everyone works together to retrieve the plant and place it inside the holographic detector. Everyone is concerned about Wally, and then the computer announces that they will jump to Earth in 10 seconds. The ship accelerates towards Earth and lands in a special spot for it. As the people disembark, Eve flies to Wally's home to try to repair him. She gathers various items and places them on him. Later, she rapidly changes the battery and successfully brings sunlight to Wally. The cockroach watches silently. Eve tries to touch his hand, but he doesn't recognize her. She retrieves some objects and plays the old music, but to no avail. Wally rolls over the cockroach, but this time, he doesn't pay any attention. Eve becomes sad, and while Wally is working, she holds his hand and gives him another robot kiss. She had already given up, but he gently squeezes her hand and doesn't let Eve leave. Then he regains his memory and says Eve's name, bringing happiness to her. They hold each other's hands like a loving couple. The captain tells the people about the plants they will cultivate, even mentioning planting pizza. He shouts, feeling good to be home, and now there are more green plants on the surface. The movie ends with the Earth almost in the same state as at the beginning of the movie.